Hello campers, and welcome back to the channel where we're keeping IT simple because life is already complicated enough. Today I'm going to show you a new way in Windows 10 to take screenshots. You're probably familiar with the method of pressing the Windows key and the print screen button to create a screenshot. And this works fine, it creates a screenshot and no problems. But there's a new way to take screenshots in Windows 10 that provides you with more options and more control and in my opinion provides a slightly better workflow than the old way. So let's get straight into today's tip. So you can see on my screen here that I have a web page, maybe I want to take a screenshot of it and if I just want to take a a screenshot of the entire screen all I need to do is press as I said before the Windows key and print screen but there's another way that you can take screenshots in Windows 10 and it's using a tool called snip and sketch and you can access it by pressing your Windows key shift and S on the keyboard all at the same time so I'm going to do that now so Windows shift and S and now you can see that the screen has dimmed a little bit and we've got this small panel at the top of the screen and here I can do various different things. So the first option is to take a rectangular snip. So if I click on this I can basically draw a rectangle on my screen and now we have a snip of just this area on the screen. Now once you've taken a snip you can come over to the action center and you see you've got the option here to open the snip. So I'm just going to click on it there and now you can see that snip has opened in the snip and sketch application and from here you can do further editing. So for instance you can annotate it, if you've got a touch device you can use the touch writing facility, you can use the pens or highlighter, there's an erase tool and a ruler to help you draw straight lines and that's especially useful of course if you've got a touch device and you can of course crop the image down so let's say actually I just want that lobster there I can crop it down and then once I'm done I just press enter and now there are several options about what I can do with this image so for instance I can save it as a file or I can copy it into the clipboard or I can share it with somebody or another application installed on this device I've also got the option to snip a window so let's for instance open up file explorer I'm going to minimize it, let's put it in the middle of the screen there, I'm going to press Windows Shift and S and instead of having to draw a rectangle around this window I can just press snip window, hover over the window that I want to snip, click and we're done. And if I open the action center you can see there that that has been saved and I can open it up and snip and sketch and then do whatever I want with it there. And the final option is to do a full screen snip. So I just click on it, we've got our full screen snip. Again if I come back to the action center we'll see it there and it opens up straight away in snip and sketch. Now inside the actual application itself, which you can independently open by just going of course to the search box here at the bottom of the taskbar, type snip and you get snip and sketch there. You've got the option to either open it using the keyboard shortcut or you can open the application from the start menu. But in the application you do have a couple of different options for taking a screenshot which you don't have through the keyboard shortcut. So if you come over here to new snip if you click on the arrow at the side here you can either decide to snip straight away or you can set a timer delay so you can set to snip in 3 seconds time or in 10 seconds time. Now this is really useful if you're trying to catch a pop-up window that only appears momentarily or at a particular time that you can't control very easily. So if I click here for instance snip in 3 seconds and we should wait there three seconds. Now what you should note is the screen is frozen so whatever is here now in this frozen version of the screen that we see I can snip and I can choose full screen or rectangle or whatever kind of snip I want and capture that moment in time. Now one other really cool thing that I can do is you might find that the Windows Shift S keyboard shortcut is maybe not very convenient for using the snip and sketch tool but what you can do is configure the print screen key on your keyboard to launch snip and sketch. So I'll show you how to do that now. All you need to do is open the settings app and you do that by pressing the Windows key and I and in the find a setting box type here 
P-R-T-S-C-N. And what you get is the option, use the print screen key to launch screen snipping. So I'm gonna click on that. And if you scroll down here, you can see the box is already highlighted. I can just toggle this to on. So if I toggle that on, now all I need to do to snip the screen is just press print screen on my keyboard and you can see the snipping panel has now launched. The screen is frozen and I can take my snip without having to press that awkward window shift S key combination on my keyboard. So I think with a lot of these tools in Windows 10, it's really about your muscle memory and I'm very used to just pressing Windows print screen. And while I know that there are different tools for snipping the screen, it's just a matter of habit. So try to have a look at this new snip and sketch tool and think about maybe configuring the print screen button or maybe you're happy with the existing Windows shift and S shortcut, but it really is a nice tool and maybe you don't need to buy a special piece of software for taking screenshots. Maybe the built-in tools in Windows are perfectly adequate. So give it a go. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Maybe you have a better, more efficient way to take screenshots in Windows. If you found the video useful, then please like it. And if you'd like to see more videos with Windows 10 tips and tricks, then please subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. But before I go on the screen now, you can see some other videos that you might find useful. So please check them out. But that's it from me today. See you next time.